rice balls stuffed with sausage ragu. And I have a helper, my granddaughter, actually my oldest granddaughter, Olivia Bastianich. How are you doing, Olivia? I'm doing good. Good? Good. You're happy to be with me in the kitchen again? Very happy, yes. So we're gonna make arancini. Arancini, those little rice balls that are so delicious and everybody loves them at the party and you can never get enough of them. Go ahead, put the rice in there. We're gonna cook the rice. We have a little stock there and just give it a stir. Does it matter what type of rice you use in arancini? Of course it does. Short grain rice, this Italian rice, which is starchy so that the arancini really sticks together. So you gave it a mix, we let it simmer until it's cooked al dente, we drain it and then we let it cool and then we begin with the sauce. Put some oil in the pan. Is that good? Yeah, that's very good. Okay, perfect. And here we have the sausage. I remove it from the casing and it becomes like ground meat. So you can do it with ground meat, but you can do it with the sausage. And go ahead, put it in. You mix it all and get it nice, break it down. That's it. So, Olivia. Yes? Your memories of in the kitchen with Grandma. What is the best food you ever cooked with me? Hmm. I would say the gnocchis we made have been the best. The gnocchi, huh? Yeah, when we make, make it from scratch together. And what sauce did you like with your gnocchi? Honestly, tomato sauce. Just simple tomato sauce and basil, yeah. yeah. We like peperoncino, don't we? A little spicy? We do, yeah. Yeah? Spicy is always good. The Spicier the... the better. Oh, yeah? Okay. I think so. All right, all right. So I'm gonna put chicken liver because it gives it that little extra flavor. And mix that in well, all around. You're doing a great job. Let's put some onions. Smells good. Smells good? Yeah. So this is this is a great party food, but if you go to Italy and uh, it's, it's street food, if you will, you will find these little stands that have arancini or suppli or whatever they call them, and which are rice balls. In every city, they're different, and they're even stuffed differently. Let's put some carrots. We have some celery. Make a little hot spot, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, open that, so open right here. And you empty the tomato paste right there and let it caramelize a little bit before you mix it in. This way, the tomato paste gets the, that extra layer of flavor. So smash it into adds it, turn it around until it gets a little bit of color. Then you can mix it in with the rest. Tomato paste brings that concentration of those ripe tomatoes into this. Now you can mix yes, it sir. around. Sure, sure. You can mix it around. All over, get it all, go in the corners. That's it. And we'll add a little bit of wine just to deglaze everything. That's it, scrape all of the little bits and pieces around. And you know, wine is good for cooking uh, and the alcohol dissipates. And so uh, you get the flavor and the acidity of the wine. And to that, we'll add some crushed plum tomatoes. Okay. And we're gonna let this simmer for about half an hour to 40 minutes. It becomes nice and dense and almost kind of, you want it a little bit on the dry side, not too soupy. And we'll let it cool and we'll pull the whole thing together. Sounds good. I got a message on my social media and looks like Mary has a question about polenta. I have been making polenta at home for years, but can't get it like the restaurants. What can you recommend? Polenta is milled corn, basically. There is instant polenta that is pre-cooked in a sense, and then you just whip it up in 10, 15 minutes. Whereas the polenta that is milled takes about 45 minutes to cook. I grew up on polenta. I usually put bay leaves in, I put a little bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of butter. So it depends on which one you're cooking, depends how long you are cooking. Flavoring elements you put in, that all makes a difference in your polenta. And when you're eating polenta in a restaurant and you like it, say, how did he cook this polenta? What spices, what herbs did he put in the polenta? You might get the answer to the polenta that you like. Polenta, I can talk for hours about polenta. So, Olivia, the rice is cooked and chilled. The stuffing is ready. And to the stuffing, let's add some uh, peas. And these peas are sort of just blanched peas and mixed well into this mixture because then this will become the center of our 
arancini. Now you can mix the rice. We'll add a little bit of egg just to bind it with a little bit of salt. And I kind of beat the eggs. Okay, I'll spread them all over. And once you have the eggs in all the corners, uh, we're gonna add some grated cheese. That will bind the dressing, okay? You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. So Is it stirred cute. enough? Yeah, you have it all mixed. It looks all mixed to me. Yeah, good. And you know, you need to get your hands into this. So let's start with the first one. So you want it all to be the same. And then you kind of flatten it up. Put, put, put a piece of cheese in there. And then the stuffing, perfect. And you put it in there because you see, and you press it in and then you close it into a rice bowl. And if you have, if you're missing a little bit of rice, by all means, you put it in and you roll it. Press okay. it, press it. And you know, if it's a little bit like this, don't worry about it because I will put it in the eggs and in the flour. So to you out there too. So if it's a little bit just leaking, it's perfectly fine. And then you'll make these nice balls. And actually, why don't you put them here? Should I try one? Absolutely. That's what you're here for. Is that good? That's good. That's it. And now you come all around, you press it in, that's it. Oh, it looks like you've been around kitchens before. Huh? Yeah, once or twice. Perfect, you did a much better one than I did. All right, you continue on doing these, and then I'm gonna sort of flour them and egg and breadcrumbs. So let's do the flour, just lightly the flour. And you do have to handle it gently because it is rice and it could fall apart. Kind of let it drain before you put it into the breadcrumbs and you roll it gently in the breadcrumbs. And once you have the breadcrumbs on, you can reshape it and voila. Great job, Olivia. You're Thank doing you. a great job. Do you think that this would go with one of your parties out there? Yeah, oh, it's okay. pretty easy to make, not too complicated. We'll cook it together and then we'll invite the boys. Okay. All right? They would love that, yep. And we'll have a party. Okay. Okay, so let's finish rolling all of these up. Then we'll fry them and we'll have a party. Okay. Formaggio fritto con polenta. Here in the highlands of the Dolomites, they make the cheese, the polenta, they grow the polenta, the corn, and they make this wonderful dish. So what it is, you make a polenta and you fry this cheese. You have it melted and then you pour it on top of the polenta and you have this delizia, this delicious dish. Let me taste it for you. Mm. This is a local dish. When there's nothing else in the house, there's always some polenta flour. There's always some cheese, local cheese, and let's taste. What can I say? Delicious. Okay, so we're just about finished, uh, uh, Olivia. As you notice, you know, it's important to keep the oil at a certain temperature. That's why the thermometer is there, 350, 360. Slowly make sure that you drop them in. Should I stir them a little? Just or a little bit, yeah, absolutely. You just gotta stir them a little bit because otherwise they fall to the bottom and they stick to the bottom. So you want them to get the, the oil all around them. And of course, the important thing is to drain them a little bit like this on a paper towel. And then we will serve them. And you see what's, what's delicious here is that that's the cheese in there. And who doesn't love melting cheese? And that's called the fili di telefono. All right, all right. Let's pull one out. Let's see how it looks. What do you think? Oh, I think, I think, let's, yeah, yeah. I think you can put it here. You can pick up two, three at a time now. Any more in there? I think there's one more. There is one, okay. And so this is, this is, is it? You know, grandma is used to kind of hot stuff, so just, you know, yeah? Can you handle it? I can oh. handle it, yep. You can handle it, oh, that's my girl. And so, it has come to that time, you know, when actually maybe we should taste and tell them what we think of it. So, take one. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. And that's the fili di telefono. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Give me a description of what do you like about this and what would your friends like about it? Hmm. 
The cheesiness on the inside makes it really good. That's my favorite part, I think. You like the crunchiness? I like the crunchiness, too. Yeah, I know you would. Is it time to say? What do I usually say? Tutti a tavola a mangiare. She said it, you heard it. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. <laughs>